Okay. The informal process. Every every uh, council on here has a question for you. Um, you'll have 15 minutes for the for the interview time. Uh, okay. So time management, time discipline is uh, up to you. Okay. Uh, in terms of the way you answer, you choose to answer questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the entire event is being recorded on uh, for publication on Blue Cable TV when it's through. And at the conclusion, we'll get, we'll try to get, save some time for you to uh, leave us with whatever thought you want to leave us with. Sounds uh, good. And with that, I'm going to start the um, first questions with uh, Mr. Marcos. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Bird, for being here and your interest in this seat. And uh, <clears throat> my question is a two-part question. Okay. And it deals with development. How do you feel about going forward with residential and commercial development in Bowie? And what do you think the relationship between the county and the city of Bowie should be with regards to that development? Okay. Um, well, just quickly, which was in my um, qualification letter, I'm affiliated with the Bowie Advisory Planning Board. So I'm currently the chair. I've been affiliated with that board since uh, 2013. And this is a very touchy subject. Um, but I think it's good because people are engaged. The key in my mind is you have to evolve. If you don't evolve, you will perish. That's with any organism or any entity, whether it be a business, whether it be an actual human being, an animal, a plant, evolution is, is always imminent. And so with that being said, buoy of the 1960s and buoy today are two different places, not just generally from the aspect of the population growth, um, but again, just the evolution from a global perspective. I mean global, I mean from city to state, state to federal, country to country to country. And so I think there has to be a happy marriage. So to get right to the point, there has to be a happy marriage. I believe anything is developed upon relationships. Um, and not necessarily relationships of what can I get out of this, this particular relationship, something tangible, but sometimes it's the intangibles. So I pride myself on, I believe, actually I know, that I'm a very personable person. And so there's always some sort of advantage, whether it's, it's a direct motive or ulterior motive, there's always an advantage to developing relationships. With that being said, likewise, between the citizenry of Bowie, developers, or whoever they may, may, may be need to develop or want to develop within the, the common uh, city, there has to be a marriage. And I believe the only way to do that from us as, as representatives of the citizens, there has to be an understanding. Growth from a strategic standpoint, organic growth, has to be controlled. So I am a big proponent of organic growth and actually having a structured strategic development plan towards that, um, obviously in correlation with the particular developments. I believe the biggest thing that we're missing right now um, is that we're not taking the citizenry into more deeper acknowledgement. Um, if you're familiar with the individual, he is a, uh, a Danish architect. His name is John Geil, and he developed a principle called the human scale. He's, you know, he runs a consultancy firm of, I don't know, 40 or 50, probably doing yeah, a couple of hundred million dollars in revenue. So he's pretty experienced. He's been doing this for 30 years. But I've read an article by him and actually read one of his, all his books um, during my time where I participated on the sustainability buoy plan. So I actually helped become a facilitator as well, went through the workshop and, and actually worked with the citizens during the workshop to help the input for the sustainability plan was back in 2016. Um, I actually reviewed it, edited it, so on and so forth. Um, but one of the, the one of the resources I used was this John Giles um, documents. And so the human scale, if you're not familiar with that term, I'm not familiar, familiar if you are, I'm not, um, I don't know if you are or not, but if you're not familiar, human scale means development with a people-focused interest. And what I mean by that, uh, Development should be more correlated to the needs, wants, desires, and attributes of the people. Take the actual business benefits out of it. Um, what I mean by that, the cost balance, I mean the cost um, benefits analysis, reduce that down to the human perspective, human life, just quality of life. 
Um, I believe, and as you can see, other communities that spring up around us and other projects, people are starting to realize the eat, work, play, so on and so forth. Um, vertical growth, vice, just strict horizontal, but not too much vertical to where you change the the authenticity of the environment and you change the actual aesthetic opinion, uh, appeal of the environment. But vertical growth for, say, some type of mixed use space where you have folks living above, retail on the bottom, make it, I use a prime example, Bowie Town Center. All right, I've lived in Bowie since uh, 2004. And Bowie Town Center, when I first moved here, was a great idea. It was kind of flourishing a little bit, but it's recently, again, because it, in my opinion, it hasn't evolved properly. What makes businesses grow? Density, customers, products, services, so on and so forth. Density makes. You know, you're approaching the 10 minute mark now. You've been talking for five minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, no, no thanks a lot. All right, so answer your question. We need a more people focused development plan, strategic plan, so that we're better integrated with the developers so that we take our citizenry into, into account from a human focus, vice from just a strict revenue focus. Okay, thank you very Dr. much. Trump. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What do you think is the most important issue in Bowie and how do you plan to make improvements? Again, just going back to the development piece, I, I believe the development is very key for us. Um, also, as far as really listening and taking into account what the citizens really want. And that means a detailed, deep dive. Survey monkey's okay, but really it has to do with face-to-face -face interaction. Face-to-face -face education of, of the citizens. Um, letting them know that this is really something that the, the council is looking forward or is thinking about doing, but we need buy-in, ownership. Ownership is crucial. Someone is more enthusiastic about, an, again, product and a service that they get some tangible effect, or even intangible, but they get some sort of effect. And I believe that the development portion, as we are evolving, I think we, as, as the city's evolving, not we as a council, as the city's evolving, I believe that the powers to be need to take a, a deep dive into a strategic plan, develop a strategic plan, detailed, very detailed, as to how do we incorporate growth in the city in a controlled, of advantageous way. The actual taking in and educating the people of Bowie is key. And I know people have other things pulling on them, they have other obligations, but again, if, if we're able to get more buy-in from the citizens, ownership, pride, community, that makes the job much easier as far as getting a collaborative, I always, I, my background is, speaks of collaboration, brings in a more collaborative environment to project or to progress in a positive manner. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Mr. Bird, for coming out this evening. All right. Hey, my uh, question or statement is, it is my opinion that local government is the most important level of government. Explain why you either agree or disagree with my statement. I agree. I agree. It's a bottom-up type of type philosophy. Um, just in the budgetary aspect, you need to have a top-down or bottom-up. Bottom-up is more detailed and normally is more accurate as to the needs, wants, whether uh, positive attributes, negative attributes of a particular entity of a community, of the city. I wholly, I wholly and solely believe that a bottom-up approach is the best way. It takes more time, obviously. It takes more time. You need to be able to engage people positively. And it's easier to, if you have buy-in, again, it's easier for the citizenry to feel that I have a seat at the table. Hence why I'm here. Because I want to not necessarily have a seat at the table, but I would like to take a more proactive stance in, in my community, in my environment. I've been here for 15 years, I plan on being for another 15 years. So instead of complaining about things, take a proactive stance. There's times where we at, oh, folks in the be, folks, uh, folks in the know, need to be a little bit more proactive to engage those citizens, because a lot of people, again, tend to be, you know, kind of tunnel vision, engage them. 
When you engage them, you have buy-in. When you have buy-in, you have acceptance, you have more people that are interested and have a vested interest in seeing the community grow. So I agree, bottom up. So on the state or on the city level, vice going coming down from the federal through through state, through county, so on and so forth. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Wolford. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for coming out this evening. Thank you for volunteering your time this evening and uh, being willing to take on the position if, if selected. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Um, my question is, to date, how have you chosen to serve the city of Bowie? For example, have you served on city committees, run for office, been on an HOA, PTA, or the like? And how will that help you represent your constituents? Okay, good. Um, I would say all the above. Um, I've served in some form of fashion to all of the above. Uh, so I moved to Bowie in 2004. Uh, my kids attended Holy Trinity Episcopal School. There at Holy Trinity, I participated on the Board of Trustees. Um, worked my way up through the Long Range Strategic Planning uh, Committee to be the Vice Chair. Likewise, uh, some of the other things I've done outside of actually the school environment, um, I was a Cub Scout uh, Cub Master, Cub Scout Pack 403, I was a Cub Master for four, five years. Um, I've also participated with the Boys, Bowie Boys and Girls Club. Uh, I was assistant lacrosse commissioner as well as a Scoopers Little U7 folks. I was a Scoopers coach. I have uh, participated on the Prince George's County Tech Council. Unfortunately, it's now defunct, but back then uh, I was an advisory committee member. Um, I have also participated, obviously, with the, the Bowie Advisory Planning Board on the city level. Um, have been a member of that since 2013, and now I'm, I'm currently the chairman of that, that board. Um, so again, I think I've, I've pretty much hit all the wickets, and not that I'm trying to hit the wickets, but I mean, my participation, again, I believe that if you want to enact change, you have to take a proactive stance. I'm currently a USA Swim Certified Official. My kids swim on a local uh, swim club, and I was on the board of directors of that swim club, Kingfish, put in a shameless plug, Kingfish Swim Club. Uh, myself and my wife um, were on the board. I have since then stepped down from the board, but then I became more uh, active as far as the officiating role. So now I'm official, USC certified. Um, that's about it. Yes, sir. I think, I mean, I, that's a myriad of things. I kind of jumped around, but, but again, on all those levels, I think I've had some participation and some proactive participation, um, whether it be in the school, on church, I was a, uh, <laughs> I was a, a youth minister, or not youth minister, but a, a youth leader at Riverdale Baptist Church. Um, so. Mr. Stout. Thank you. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So the Sears location at Bowie Town Center is closing. The owners of the property are planning a mixed-use development on the site. I'm interested in your thoughts on the matter. Yes, okay, yeah, I kind of briefly alluded to that. I, I think that, again, Bowie, in my opinion, and obviously that's what you're asking me for, in my opinion, I think Bowie is, is highly underrated and highly underutilized and poorly developed. Um, Bowie Town Center is a horizontal mixture of a lot of redundancy as far as services and products that are being uh, utilized there. It's surrounded by a sea of parking lots, which is, you know, it's like a house. What's the most utilized place? the kitchen. Why have a small kitchen and a huge living room, which is a formal living room or a formal dining room, that are uh, really never used hardly. So likewise with uh, Bowie Townsend, I sat in on a stakeholders meeting for the new development or the proposed development of the new Sears building. Um, I, I'm in agreement with it. Again, looking from a human, a human scale, as I mentioned earlier, we need to be more cognizant of pedestrian traffic. A place that incorporates the access to be able to live, work, sleep, eat, play, shop, is more conducive to building density. Density, what I mean, pedestrian traffic. Bringing folks in and keeping them in. Having places, I mean, at the infill 
as well as redevelopment of the of the actual um, property is of I think of most importance. I'm not there's a couple of details about the um, about the proposed development that have some questions more, but again, it's so early in phase, and I'm sure they're going to flush out some of those details as they go down the process through this conceptual and then through the detailed site plan. But I like the fact that they want to maybe bring in a place that again will house individuals but house them in a, in a controlled manner, not too much, not too big, not, not overly densified, but then also to the point where it now will pedestrianize, because now Bowie Town Center, it's even hard just to walk around. It's not designed for the pedestrian. It's more designed on like a vehicle level. If you have a vehicle and you're in a car, you can easily get around. You know, the circle gets a little convoluted from time to time, but parking is no problem other than parking on the main thoroughfare, again, because not taking into the multinodal aspect of pedestrians walking while cars are trying to come in, pedestrians shopping. If for some reason that parking was able to be pushed out to the outskirts of some of that parking that's available that's never used and concentrate more on the pedestrian, on the, inter the, the internal, the interior of the Bowie Town Center, I think it would be a big hit. As well as to actually, because density, with density, and going back from not only a human perspective, but from a cost benefit perspective, you're able to attract, yes, you're able to, to attract uh, more retail. So hopefully I answered the question without being too verbose. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll give you about a minute. If, if you have one last thought you'd like to leave with us. One last thought. I, th I think that my life has been evident from the time I, I was born and raised in, in uh, Baltimore, Maryland went to the Naval Academy, from the Naval Academy, went to the Marine Corps. Marine Corps was a, a Cobra pilot, an aviator. Um, after post-Marine um, Corps years, I've then been involved in the, the tech kind of consulting realm. I think everything, and then the things I've done here in Bowie all are encompassed under service. I believe that I'm a service-oriented person. Um, my matriculation to this point is the reason why I'm here today, because I think naturally the progression of my life has left me here, but the key thing being service. I think I just, I'm a personal person. I love, my mother always taught me that if you extend value to someone, you'll get that value in return twofold. It's not necessarily going to be monetary value, but it's going to be a value because you're enlightening and you're helping other people out. I enjoy that. I strive for that. I thrive in that environment. Okay. Well, thank you very much for participating. Thank you for coming down. And uh, we've got some more interviews to do tonight and then some more tomorrow night. And Hopefully, the conclusion of that will make a decision. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. Have a great evening. Thank you.